Okay, here's the deal with misogyny. In order to understand misogyny, first, we have to start with Yoda. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate? That's right. All hate begins with fear. Once you understand that, you understand every form of hate on the planet. You cannot hate something without fearing it. In fact, the nature of hate is that it is fear that has been shifted from the flight to the fight response. It's the same level of disturbance. It's just switched from run away to attack. Misogyny is no different. Misogyny is basically fear of women. Your average woman hater is terrified of women. They view women as a threat, untrustworthy, treacherous, uh, manipulative, vain, shallow, you name it, all the worst stereotypes about women. And therefore, they feel that the only way they themselves can be safe is to just utterly subdue the woman. And this is true for the most violent, horrible, woman-beating rapist, as it is for the petty little fucktards that hide under the cloak of anonymity and leave really horrible comments on YouTube. Once you realize that these people fear women, then their behavior actually makes a lot more sense. When someone happens to be a woman and has an opinion on video games online, and then this huge amount of hatred comes out, you have to understand that the point of their angry outbursts is to get you to go away. They are like someone who is afraid of dogs yelling at a dog, Scoot! Go away! Go home! They want you to leave. They're trying to punish you for being there and setting off their fear. This is as true for online forums as it is for sexual harassing work environments as it is to all the way up all the way up to violently abusive men. The reason why so many male-oriented things have a passive female is that so many men are so afraid of women that the only one who is completely passive is safe enough for them to relax around and actually like. This is true to a certain extent of all heterosexual men. But when you're talking about online and then you add that to video games, you're talking male nerds. Straight male nerds. And this is a population who is, as a group, not had a lot of luck with the ladies. There's a lot of stuff that a, that a straight male nerd has against him in modern society. Things that make it hard for them to connect with women in the normal way. And so, these types of people, they tend to retreat into an all-male environment. That's the only place where they can feel calm, where their uh, adrenal response isn't stimulated. Then some woman, innocently and righteously enough, goes into that in all-male environment, which by this point has accumulated a lot of these woman-fearing men. And of course, their response is berserk, and it seems entirely out of proportion, because it's not in proportion to reality, it's in proportion to their fear. And so what do they do? They immediately grab whatever they think will hurt you worst in order to try and drive you away. Now this is horrible, and it's not justified, I'm not saying it is. I'm just explaining where it comes from. A lot of the time, feminists, they, they get that it's about fear, but they don't quite understand how a man gets that way. There's a lot of men out there who one might call the omega males. That is, the complete and total opposite of an alpha male. They want women, because they're heterosexual, uh, but experience and life has taught them that they can't have them. 
And so a woman to them is like the, a food that you really love but can't have. But people around you are eating it all the time. If you re truly feel that you can't have it, and yet you're biologically programmed to want it, you will feel that the only way to keep yourself from being tortured by it is to have it not be around and to instead refocus those feelings into something like pornography, hentai, that kind of stuff. Because those are women that can't reject you. Those are women you can have. And it is the nature of the beast that when you can't have the primary sexual object, you will displace your sexuality into the next best thing. For a lot of male nerds, it's porn of whatever kind. So when you're contemplating this recent surge in misogyny online and thinking, where the hell did all this come from? It's just a matter of a bunch of very frightened men trying to scare off women whose presence makes them uncomfortable because they want them but can't have them, or at least feel they can't have them. Again, I'm not justifying all this. I'm just saying this is the nature of the beast. Know thine enemy. And that, more or less, is the deal with misogyny.